All right, everyone. Thank you for being here at the Bandai Namco Games America Inc. JRPG Power Hour. My name is Nick O'Leary. I'm senior PR specialist for Bandai Namco Games America. And today we have a great lineup of guests for you uh, talking about some great games. So here we go. First, for the Tales of title, for Tales of Exilia 2, we have Ted Sung, North American producer. And let's... Next, we have Lauren Landa, voice of Leia Rolando for Tales of Exilia and Tales of Exilia 2. And then finally, we have Manai Noji, voice of the badass Mia, Mila Maxwell for Tales of Exilia and Tales of Exilia 2. And then we also have some sword art guys that will be coming out later, so we'll hold on to them. So first I want to say thank you for all your support for the Tales of series over the past few years uh, because of your support. No, go ahead and clap. <laughs> because of your support, we are now more, uh, more popular in the West than it's ever been before, and we could not have done it without you guys, so thank you very much. But we're not here to talk about Tales of Exilia. We're here to talk about Tales of Exilia 2. And uh, that title will be uh, headed up with the two main characters you see up there, Luger Kresnik and El Marta. You will follow their adventures as they head to the land of Canaan, where magic and wishes are granted. But we also meet up with a lot of familiar characters from the uh, Tales of One, Exilia 1 uh, game. And as I said before, we have two of them with us right here. Uh, Leia Rolando and Mila Maxwell, the voices of at least. Um, and we're going to rap with them real fast here. So, uh, Do I actually have to rap? Yes. Cool. All answers must be formed in raps. <laughs> or haikus, whichever. Ooh, oh, haikus. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, so the first question is for Lauren and Manai. What sort of got you two into uh, voice acting? Uh, Hmm. Well, for me, uh, I've been acting my whole life since I was a wee little thing. And uh, when I got to college, uh, after doing many, many different stage productions, uh, I decided to try out the voiceover thing, specifically for anime, because I had been an anime fan, and uh, met up with a studio called Bang Zoom, and they said, hey, you should try this out. And I said, okay. And uh, a couple months later, I had an audition, and I was cast in Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha, which was a long time ago. Um, but ever since then, uh, it slowly expanded into video games, and now I do way more video games than I can count on one hand. So, including awesome games like Tales of Exilia. Yeah. Um, so yeah, voice acting has always been uh, an interest of mine since I was little uh, because my father used to work for Disney, so that was always cool to go into the booth with him and see what were behind the scenes. But me being such a drama queen and being an actress at heart, you know, I had to kind of take over the performing aspect of that. And if I did not, then I wouldn't be here today. You guys are so quiet. <laughs> I'm not hearing any reactions out of my jokes. Am I not funny? There we go. There we go. There we go. No, I'm not trying to be funny. So thanks for ruining the moment, guys. So, no, I'm just teasing. Hi, Manai. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm so happy. Oh, wow. She gets more reaction? Nice. Well, I kind of made them just now. I, <laughs> I said hi. Um, okay. Uh, when I was a kid, I did some voiceovers. I was working on a show called, uh, this is years ago, called Captain Planet. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I and just made a reference to that the other day. Did you really? I did. No, Captain Planet. I don't know. So, I, uh, and that was the first time that I, I, um, I experienced that, being in the sound booth and acting. Um, then I got into acting um, on camera, but I still had the love for um, voiceovers. You know, what's really great about it is you can go to work in your pajamas. Like, who gets to do that, right? Most people have to wear clothes. It's we don't true. have to if we don't want to <laughs> be naked. 
It's true. You don't, could do it naked. I, we wouldn't recommend it, but... I, I don't remember any of this during the recording. <laughs> <laughs> but what's, what's You weren't really there, great? Ted. You weren't there. <laughs> uh, this happened during <laughs> Keep it together, Ted. Let's... Um, what is really great, though, is um, it is more colorblind in voiceovers, which I appreciate. Because as an actor, you know, I can probably only play Asian women. Um, but in voiceovers, you, I could be a blonde-haired... What is it? Violet-eyed? Does she have violet eyes, Mila? Mila has, like, purple eyes, right? Um, I could be a cat. I mean... I can't audition for a cat in person. I can't be a cat. <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can be a cat. We can be anything we want to be in life. Aww. Not here. Life lessons. Yes. <laughs> so, Ted, you are North American producer for Tales of Exilia 2. Can you kind of run down a quick uh, synopsis of what that entails? Oh, yeah, I've pretty much had the uh, production uh, the Tales of Franchise for North America. Um, so that pretty much uh, begins with contacting Japan, uh, basically asking them like a million questions, um, pretty much having them prepare the, the text files, uh, prepare all the reference, uh, the reference materials. Um, so getting all of that, and then basically working with a lot of different studios, a lot of different agencies, um, to start with a translation, kind of get the, the characters' personalities into place. Um, so, kind of getting through the translation process, um, and in terms of uh, with when a game requires voice recording, uh, we also have to do adaptations. So basically, you can't just take the translation, you have to make sure that it actually syncs up with the timing of the Japanese. So, that's a huge problem for us, because sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll translate something and it's like, a 10 second long sentence in English and you look at the Japanese and it's like, oh, it's like three seconds. So you have to like trim down a bunch of stuff, you have to add a bunch of stuff. So we deal with that. Um, and then once we, we have all the, the scripts together, then it's the actual voice recording process um, where we have people audition, uh, where they send their voices in and we kind of choose and pick who we want to bring in. Um, and the, uh, voice recording, uh, the voice recording process takes place for, in Tails case, like three whole months. Um, and once that's all done, then we go back to the developer and we're like, here's all these assets that we finally made on our end. And so they go in, they take some time to implement it into the game. Um, and during that time, obviously, there's going to be some hue and error. So then we go into the debug process. Um, so then we go and we hire a bunch of uh, QA testers and we, we fix up the game. And then we finally release it and we start working with marketing uh, to kind of have promotional, promotional material like this. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of my job in a nutshell. He has such a low voice, right? Ted does. Very manly. Low voice. All we do is we just go in and talk into a mic. That's all we do. So thanks for the hard work, Ted. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It wouldn't be Tales without you. Thank you. <laughs> it wouldn't be. Now, we have a collector's edition coming out for Tales of Exilia 2, and I have some stuff here to show you guys. If you grab this, it will come with a Luger Kresnik nice. figure. Can I see? Oh, you I see. sure can. Can I see? And it will come in this lovely box yeah. for you guys. And we also have, oh, Dennis can be my Vanna White real fast here. Uh, it will also come with a pocket watch replica compact. Oh. I guess we'll that keep That is nice. uh, <laughs> Wow. A hardcover art book, which I believe we're showing for the first time here. Woo. Ew. Ah. And then something we uh, just announced, uh, or not just announced, we're just showing for the first time. Uh, the music CD will come with a steel book case, which conveniently also holds the game, as well as the CD. Ooh, it's fancy. <laughs> and along with all that uh, great stuff, what also comes with a, the Rolo plush charm and the classic Tales of Character DLC as well. It's like Christmas. That is awesome. And you can pre-order that actually at the booth at the uh, retail club Nam uh, Bandai Namco Games uh, retail uh, desk at our booth, booth 101, and uh, this weekend. And also, 
Tales of Exilia DLC will work with Tales of Exilia 2 uh, games. So whatever you purchase for costumes, uh, we'll work with that title coming up. And that is it for Tales of Exilia 2. Now we move on to Tales of Hearts R. Real. <laughs> So this game uh, was coming out for the Vita, and uh, last year, or a few years ago, Sony put out a list of what JRPGs you guys want to see out for uh, the Vita, and Tales of Hearts R uh, ran away with the votes. So here we are today, uh, putting that out this year for you guys. And the sto game follows the story of Core Meteor and Kohaku Hearts and we'll use the aerial chase linear motion battle system. And what makes this different than the other tales of uh, battle systems is that you can now juggle your opponents in the air and continue your combos uh, in midair with uh, your characters. Kind of, but not like this. So it's <laughs> and we announced yesterday that uh, it'll be out November 11th. Uh, of this year, and it has a GameStop exclusive physical package product, and that will also be available on our Bandai Namco Games website as uh, store as well. So now uh, we're going to move on to Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. First, a few things about the Sword Art franchise, or yeah, Sword Art Online franchise. Uh, currently has almost two million fans on its Facebook page uh, and is currently streaming on Hulu, Crunchyroll, and Daisuke. And the second uh, season of the anime will begin this weekend, July 5th, and we'll have a premiere uh, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the Petrie Hall. So if you make it out there, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and now for the game portion of it, we have the producer, Yosuke Futami. And he is accompanied by Tak Miyazoe, who will be helping translate for him today. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, um, I don't, I, yeah. So Futon is on his work with Bandai Namco Games since 2008 and has worked on Sword Art Online, Infinity Moment, Sword Art Online, Hollow Fragment, My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute, and The Melancholy of Harai Suzumiya series. <laughs> That's as well as you're going to get out of me on this one right now. <laughs> so welcome. Hello, everybody. So it's my first time to have been in North America, and I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really glad to be able to see all the faces here and finally be able to meet all of everybody here. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Hi. Go ahead. 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 Go <laughs> so, I'm actually responsible for building a lot of games um, based off of light novels. Um, Haruhi Suzumiya. Um, do you guys know that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, actually, that was him saying. <laughs> で、あの、ソーダートオンライン今回、あの、ゲームの方を、え、ちゃんと北米でやらせていただくので、あの、今回、あの、いろいろ紹介したいなと思って、え、今日は楽しんで聞いてもらえればなと思います。So, and today obviously we're here to present to you a uh, Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. Really excited. Um hope we can give you a little bit more news um than what's up been out in Japan. So, um hopefully you guys can look forward to this. So, here we go. Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> はい。えっと、ソードアートライン、ホロークラグメントっていうゲームはですね、あの、ソードアートの原作ゲーム、アニメの世界のま、キャラクターたちと、え、ま、冒険を楽しむ、え、ゲームになってます。So, Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment obviously uh, takes after the light novels, has the same world, same characters, um, but uh, allows the players to relive sort of the same atmosphere and the world of uh, Sword Art Online. 
まあ、ただ、あのー、原作とアニ,アニメとゲームと、えー、アニメと、えー、原作と違って、まあ、ゲームでしか、あのー、体験できない自分だけの物語、まあ自分えー、と切り取りになりきって自分だけの物語ソードアートの世界を楽しむことができるゲームになってます。So, but what we have, have done is not really、um, recreate the story of the anime or the light novel, but we've actually allowed players to become Kirito and sort of relive His own uh, story uh, within the same world. So it's an original story, and hopefully, everybody who plays can role play their own imaginative story、um, in the Sword Out online environment. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm going to go on to the game. So, now we'll go on to talk to you a little bit about what the game's all about. えー、と一つ目が、えー、と疑似 MMORPG というジャンルなんですけれどもまるでその世界であの MMORPG を遊んでいるようなそのキャラクターたちがコミュニケーションを取ったりとかあの会話をしてくれたりとかっていう、えー、ように感じられるプレイができるゲームです。So first point we said was we were sort of calling it a pseudo MMORPG which is allowing the players to play by themselves as if they're playing an MMORPG so you'll be able to interact with a lot of the、um, NPCs As if you're really interacting with real life players. で特徴的なところとしてはあのー、街にキャラクターがいっぱい100人とか150人とかいるんですけどもそれと全員とフレンドになれたり一緒に冒険することもできます。So basically what that means is there'll be a lot of characters,、uh, like hundreds hundreds of characters in, in the town, in the village that players will be able to interact with as if they're actual、uh, players playing. So you can interact, become friends and really live within、uh, the world. はい。でもう一つ目が、えーとえー、ソードアートらしい世界観に浸れることができるんですけども今回そのアインクラットを舞台にしてあのその世界をその死んだらすぐゲームオーバーになっちゃうのであのちょっと難しいんですがアインクラットの世界を、えーえー、楽しむことが十分できるんじゃないかなと思います。So, what we've also really, really focused on is recreating、uh, the Sword Art、uh, Online world.、Uh, we really wanted players to be able to immerse themselves deep into、uh, the world, the, the experience, the role of all the characters. So, hopefully, players can be able to enjoy that and sort of relive the experience as well. Hi. じゃあ、あともう一個が、えっ、ー、と、マルチプレイもできるようになっておりまして、最大4人まで、あと、そのパートナーを今回連れていくことが1人、あの、NPC を連れていけるんですけれども、まあ、それで全員で、えー、最大8人の疑似プレイで、あの、SA の世界を冒険することができます。So,、uh, another point is, in regards to the multiplay,、um, you're able to select an NPC character that will come along、um, and travel through the world and explore the world with you. Um, but in terms of multiplayer, we'll allow up to four players.、Um, so if you're playing versus, you'll have up to eight players、um, being able to play、um, in, this, in this world. Hi.、はい So, the first thing is that 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 the f Enjoy and really immerse themselves into the world. Yeah, so、um, yeah, let's try not to really look under people's skirts or anything like that because it looks pretty real. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> であともう一個が、えー、オリジナルストーリーになってまして河原先生原作の河原先生協力のもとあのオリジナルストーリーで、えー、さらにマルチエンディングになっておりまして好きなキャラクターとその物語のエンディングを迎えることができます。So um, last point here we said original story but we have had 河原先生、um, really help us out with creating this original story and we've made it multiple endings so depending on the character that you use、um, depending on your choices you will be able to face、uh, different multiple endings so hopefully people People can、uh, try all those out and really、um, experience the entire world. Anime or game, a 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 game. So, one of the things we're really excited is that players can really create their own stories when they're in this world. So, really, guys, hopefully, you guys can deep,、uh, you know, dive deep into it and, you know, Experience the world that we have created based on the world that Colorado Sensei has created. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. 
あとあのダウンロードコンテンツも、えー、用意しておりまして、えー、アスナの、まあ、ウェディングドレス<笑>キュート<笑><笑> It's cute. So, yes, download the contents. You probably guys know from news from Japan, but we have implemented or、um, we will be distributing download contents, including、um, the wedding dress, which is cute. <laughs> cute. In the game, there are some partners who are present. できるんでいろんな着せ替えができるんでぜひ楽しんでくださいそうなんですよねあのウェディングドレス着させることできるんで気をつけてください<笑> yeah, so depending what you like you can actually make everybody wear wedding dresses so、um, <笑> be careful みんなに怒られちゃいますからね<笑> yes、um, people will probably get a little bit jealous so be careful about that too <笑>はいじゃあ次 All right, so thank you very much for、uh, all the information for Sword Art Online Hall of Fragments. And if you guys like what you hear,、uh, please help join the conversation on Facebook.、Uh, we're at facebook.com, Bandai Namco US. Hi, hey, Facebook. Hi, I'm going to update the contents. Hi, I'm going to update the contents. えーまあ、今、ゲームからアップデートをして大きく、まあ、ゲームがまた拡張していくというお話があるんですけれども、えっと、アメリカでもあのそのアップデートを体験してみたいでしょうか、皆さんは。So, uh, following what Nick said,、um, you guys may or may not know, but in Japan, we've actually announced、um, additional updates to the story to the world itself.、Um, and we're、um, you know, trying to debate whether or not you know, we want to bring that to North America. But is that something you guys would want?、Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> じゃあ検討します。あ、じゃあ検討あ、はい、検討しますので、まあぜひこのフェイスブックにあの皆さん意見をいただければあの考えますので、ぜひあのいろんな意見をください。Yeah, so、uh, thanks for the excitement. It's great.、Um, we will put some thought into it, guys. Please give us your comments on Facebook. Tell us what you want,、um, and we'll really、um, put some time into thinking about it. So、um, look forward to a lot of the comments、uh, you can give us. いっぱいガーッ<笑> And the light, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <笑> Thank you very much. えー、発売日は,、えーはえー、8月19日で、えー、テイルズと一緒なんですけれども、あのー、いい RPG が2つ、えーえー、発売されるので、ぜひ遊んでみてください。So, this game will be available for digital download on August 19th,、uh, the same day as Exilia 2. So, two great JRPGs coming on that day. So, hopefully, everybody can look forward to it. And really look forward to your likes and、um, everybody purchasing the game. で最後ちょっと1個伝え忘れたんですけど、えっと、実はあの、えー、このゲームには、えっと、次のアニメのヒロイン「あのソードアートオンライン」のアニメのシノンっていうキャラクターもさあの体験できるのでぜひそちらも注目してもらえればと思います。Sorry, I forgot to mention one more thing.、Uh, Shion, the heroine、um, of, the, of the next season will also be available in this game as well. So hopefully you can pick it up and give a, get a first taste of her as well. はい。<笑> Yes.